Introduce Mr. Smelly's fragrance reviews with the international leader of the worldwide fragrance community, Mr. Smelly 1977. <laughs> Introducing General Anesthetic, leader of the Democratic Republic of Franchikistan! <laughs> Guys, I desperately need this money. Help me! Help me! Without these funds, I rely on Google Ads. Unfortunately, the Googles, the Google Ads, they don't particularly pay very much. Help me! Help me! Help me! I need more. Guys, I desperately need this money to keep me on YouTube. Put on your best pink mask and your nice pink tights and your pink gown and come and I'll bend you in bloody two sunshine. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Monday Fragrance Live as Mr. Smelly relapses into fragrance shopping addiction. What next for a community in shock? <laughs> It's Monday night. Anything can happen on a Monday. It's kind of off topic. It's a free hit for me on a Monday. And actually, I'm kind of well on topic because we're going to go shopping, guys. You're coming shopping with me again. It's the unique format pioneered by Mr. Yet Another First. How many firsts have I brought you in this community? So many novel ideas. Uh, we are excited tonight to bring you a fragrance shopping binge here. And I'm bringing it to you live in the community on the YouTube. Let's talk about this and let's have some great fun together. We're going to go shopping. We're going to have fun. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it's going to work. We did one the other day, and that was the um, a specialist one, which was all about the uh, – what was it all about? It was all about vintage only, okay? This is going to be a different case now. We're not just going for vintage. We're going for anything we bloody well want, and we're going to spend some money, guys, and your super chats can help me up the budget. So it's up to you how far we can go, okay? Now, let me explain. Some of you may be angry. 36 people in here. Please hit that thumbs up. We def we need to throw this out to new people in the algorithm, okay? 13 thumbs up. Let's get that over the 50 mark. I'm going to check back. Hit me the first super chat of the night. I desperately, desperately need money to fund this shopping addiction and the, the kind of debt that this is about to get me into. Here we go. We've got Kevin Chunks. You are a, like an effing irritating fly. You just won't go away. Thank you so much, Kevin. Um, we've got Martial's Blends. Hey, hola, everybody. Hola, amigo Dan. Great to see you in the chat there. 38 people. Martial, great to see you here in the chat. And um, here we go. We have, I am here with James Blunt, says Kevin Chunks. You are like an irritating fly. He says, again, you just won't go away, Nortus. I can appreciate how you may have that feeling about me. I completely get it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much to Puggy, Fein Puggy Feinstein, great part of the community there. Uh, love your content, by the way. Thank you. I really appreciate the, the compliment and the you, you being here. Smelly Marshall Michael. Hello, everyone in the chat. Puggy, is this your first? Nice to meet you, Puggy. Guys, we're going shopping. Mr. Clean, great part of the community. Thanks for a great show with me on Saturday. And keep those thumbs up coming. Sean McSweeney criticizing me for being late again. I am working on that, and we're going to have more prompt starts. Everything is going to be re uh, vamped towards the end of this week. All new Mr. Smelly show coming. More on that soon. Relapse. Well, let me just clarify the situation. Some people may be very angry about this broadcast, and I can understand that, okay? So what happened was the other day we had a broadcast. Uh, when we, 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 we had a live stream where I went shopping, and that was fun. But the, the couple of days before that, I did a fantastic video. It's got like 20-odd thousand views, okay? And I said, listen, this is why fragrance addiction or fragrance in general is destroying your life. Be careful. You could be obsessed with this hobby. You could be spending too much of your disposable income your spare money or even money you don't have spare on fragrances you probably don't need another fragrance i said be careful
careful, be careful, sunshine. I said, you know, there are probably other things you can work on in your life. You know, do you, if you've got 40, 50, 100 fragrances, the next thing you buy might, maybe it should be a smart suit jacket or a new haircut or a pair of shoes or take your wife out for dinner. That was what, what I was saying, okay? But I wasn't saying you can never buy a fragrance again. I didn't say that, did I? Hey, no, I didn't say that. I didn't, didn't say that at all. So let me get a bit very clear, okay? I didn't say you can never buy a fragrance. I just says live within your means. Don't over obsess with it. Of course, there is a big difference. I happen to have a fragrance YouTube channel as a huge part of my life. So I do need some incoming buys, okay? Let me just clarify that. You guys at home, though, be careful with your purchases. Don't go mad or I won't be very happy with you. Okay, guys, good and Arben, Darren, thank you so much to J.O. Great to see you in the chat. B is also here. Dave B is in the chat. Uh, great part of the community there, fellow UK person. And Mr. Clean, um, Sean McSweeney, did somebody say last week about James Wask being a friend of Dame B? They did. That was a classic joke from, uh, I think it was from Kev the legendary Kevin Charles. Okay, so let's talk about fragrance shopping. You're coming shopping with me. Here's Guys, let me know in the comments what I need to buy. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to buy three fragrances tonight. I do need some super chat dollars to help me do that. So hit me with the super chats. So that will up the budget a little bit, okay? I'm not saying it's all coming from you, but hit me with the first super chat of the night. I desperately need the money. Okay, we're going to buy three fragrances. We're going to buy one cheapy, one does designer and one niche and we're going to do it live on the Mr. Swelly channel. No one has ever done this before. Let's find out what they're going to be. You know what kind of fragrances I like. I need your tips. It's interactive community TV, guys. Hit that super chat button. Hit the thumbs up and it's going to be a fun shopping spree. It's going to be rapid fun. I'm not going to mess around tonight. I might not be messing so much with the eBay. I want to just go for brand new. I don't want to mess around having to buy from a trusted seller. I just want to go to sellers we know are legit. Okay, I don't know. I don't, mate. I don't know. Daniel Medina. Hello, Mr. Smelly. Great to have you there in the chat. Great part of the community. Welcome. Get that thumbs up button. Let's get the numbers up in the room. Great to see you guys. We're having fragrances for dinner. You guys are coming shopping. Also, in because this is not hypocrisy based on my other video, because I'm helping you not to spend money because you can live vicariously through me. Watch a professional at work shopping for fragrances, and maybe it'll scratch that itch for you. You don't have to buy anything. Greggy Boy 76 a legend of the community. He knows how to buy a fragrance in the right place. He knows all the best sites to go for, and if you want fragrance samples, there's only one place you go to, and that is Fragrance Samples UK. Fragrance Samples UK. Fragrance Samples UK.com. The only one place I would go to in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland if you want your fragrance samples. Great part of the community. Greggy Boy 76 great to have you in here. 38 people. Hit that thumbs up button. You've got the fantastic Fantastic. Martial's blends here. Tranky, tranky, como sanky, panky. I don't know, not know what that means, but thank you for the comment there, Marcia. An untouchable dig, Dolce and Gabbana in uh, Intenso. Uh, you want me to buy that? I can't say I'm massively tempted. Let's talk about that one, maybe. Lalique Homage. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I need a pen. I might have to write down some of your suggestions, guys. Lalique Homage isn't a bad one, actually. I need a pen and paper. Uh, we're going shopping, and we're not finishing until we bought one niche, one designer, and one uh, cheapy kind of fragrance. Okay, I need three. I'm going, well, you can call it a binge if you want. I've seen bigger binges, but you know what I mean. 43 people, hit the thumbs up button. Kid Kentucky, are you feeling lucky? Because it's time to get stucky in with some fragrance buying. We need dollar dazzlers. Hit me with the first super chat of the night and desperately need the money, guys. Remember, I'm not here to amuse you. Marcios Blends, whether you made my day, you're reading it, Dan. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the thought there. Guys, uh, what do you reckon? Uh, do we buy vintage or do we buy brand new? I think I think we're going to mainly look at brand new uh, fragrances. Hit that super chat button. Let's get the super chat scale off. Oh! Baby, super chat, super chat, baby, super chat, Bring in some super chats, let's get this thing happening. Super chat, baby. <laughs> super chat, let's get this on, baby. All right, before we do that, I've got a couple of things to get off of my chest, but we're going shopping real soon, guys. Great to see you guys in the house. The Scented Reaper, great part of the community. Fantastic to have you joining us here. And Lalique Homage, I'm going to make a note of that. Lalique Homage. Lalique Homage. I think I might like that. I think I've seen a couple of good reviews on that one. 53 people in the room. Hit the thumbs up here. here guys. Desperately need thumbs up. Desperately need super chats, guys. Desperately need that money. And it's going to help us set the budget tonight, guys. Welcome to the show. Cheers, Marcial. I'll wait for a few more people to join so we get stuck in. Okay, let me talk about one other thing, okay? People about the fragrance community, okay? People always talking about the fragrance community online and, whoa, it used to be better. Whoa, everyone's just doing it for money now. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to tell you the truth about the fragrance community. Thank you so much. Mr. Clean, I really appreciate the first super chat of the night. That's $5 in the bank already. This one, Fougere Emerard by Les Indomitables. By that word. Okay, fantastic. I love the suggestion. Mr. Clean, thank you for the generous super chat. I really appreciate that. So Fougere 
Emerald, uh, and that is by that company with a long name, Les Indomitable, Indomitable, like me, like me, $5 Super Chat. Thank you so much, generous Mr. Clean. Super Chat, one of the night, really appreciate it. Super, super Chat addiction is a thing as well. Yes, it is, but a healthy one, a healthy addiction. Okay, J.O. with the two Australian dollar Super Chat. I think that's uh, about one pound, so we'll call that six pounds so far. Thank you so much for the generous Super Chat. Really appreciate that, J.O. Good point. Super chat addiction can be a real problem, guys. Um, but uh, help me to feed mine tonight with more super chats. Otherwise, I may need to go for some the super chat equivalent of methadone. I don't want to do that. Okay. Good suggestions so far. So we've got Fougier, Emirad, by the word. That's a long word. Thank you so much, Mr. Clean. Lalique, Omash. Yeah, but people are always talking about the freight. Listen, guys, listen, calm down, calm down. Okay. First of all, the, what the live stream thing isn't this is not the fragrance community okay me and my live stream or any other live streams in this is like a tiny corner of a the fragrance community in itself is weird and tiny anyway the the, the live streams are a tiny tiny part so don't think we're the fragrance community we're not nice part of it great sometimes nice sometimes nasty this is not the fragrance community even i the great Mr. Smelly, I'm, I'm only a tiny part of this fragrance community, sadly. I know, I know. Um, so don't think about that as the fragrance community. Forget that idea. Forget that. All right. Now, the fragrance community, it doesn't really mean anything anymore, okay? There are tons of people around the world into this hobby. Some of them are into niche fragrances. Some of them are hanging around in Facebook groups. Some of them uh, hang around on YouTube channels. Some of them, God knows how they all interact. And, and it's, it's not a cohesive thing. Don't worry about that. But I'll tell you what, though. Here's one thing. There's never, ever been more choice. You guys have never had it so good. Don't talk to me about 2015 was the golden era. Don't talk to me about 2013. There was absolutely jack shit to watch. You had to wait for a new video to come up, and they weren't very good. Let's be completely honest. They, most of them weren't very good. The camera was crap. People hadn't learned how to present properly that well. We were grateful for anything we can get. There were some good ones, don't get me wrong, but a lot of them were very, very poorly produced, low-quality stuff. Okay, there were some gems out there. There was Katie Puckrick. Uh, there was my friend Greg from the Greggy Boy 76 channel. Then we started to get people like Max 40 in the xylophone era or early red adolescence or, or Mark Robe. So, and it was all good. It was all good. But at the end of the day, we now have all that kind of stuff and better and more. Okay. So if you still want to watch tiny channels with passion who don't do it and don't do top tens that much and don't do clickbait and aren't doing it to earn money, there's tons of them. There's more than ever. And at least now, even if they don't have a, a very professional setup, even if they're doing it on their phone, the visuals is probably okay. So there's billions of those channels still out there and you can still watch all of that kind of stuff okay if you want to watch very well produced videos that just give you quick answers 10 fragrances that you might want to wear this summer obviously there's loads of those and if you're a purist you might find them annoying and there's still weirdos like me somewhere in the middle who try and do something a bit different there's gazillions of channels don't panic the community is absolutely alive and well it's all over the place and there's even live streams so don't worry about the community, guys. The community is alive and well. As long as this world keeps turning, it's going to keep evolving and it's going to get more and more interesting. So we desperately need super chats. We desperately need thumbs up on the channel as well today. Let's go shopping together. Guys, what do you want? It's up to you. What do you want to do first? Niche, designer, or a cheapie? And where do I go in the UK to get them? Let's talk about this. Talk to me first. First of all, I want a cheapie. Let's get something cheap and cheerful, okay? So I'm talking, it can be a designer that happens to be cheap too, like a busher on pour on, okay? You remember I do like my old school citrus aromatics or chypres or fougeres. Remember that, please be kind. Give me a super chat, guys, to up the budget. Where should we go first? Talk to me, guys. What do you want me to search for first? Um, I'm a bit stuck here. Let me, I want some cheapy suggestions for you guys. Uh, folks, I'm here sitting next to Chris Eubank, my great friend here in Brighton. Fantastic. Thank you, Kevin. Ha say hello to Chris from us. How is he doing? Uh, about boxing mostly. Well, here we go. Bozzy Adovich, when I was, uh, it was 2015 when I first uh, seriously started making videos about boxing mostly. Did not know that. Thank you, Boz. I'll have to check out the channel. Let me know. Guys, I need a cheapy suggestion. Is that a tam tan mitt pen? No, it's a Z grip, man. It's a zebra Z grip. Only the best pens for me. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Five. Uh, what? Ten fifty-five p.m. That was a great comment from Visit. Okay. Let's keep going, guys. We're going shopping. I need your suggestion. I'm going to buy a cheapie. I don't know what to buy. I'm a bit stuck here. I think I feel like something barber shop. I feel like a barber shop. Let's go to Executive Shaving. They have some good cheapy barber shop fragrances that I really like. Let's go there, guys. Here we go. Executive shaving, good place to get this stuff in the UK. Where do you get your cheapy fragrances? Let's check out this site. I haven't been shopping there for a while. We're going to executive shaving and we're looking for a gentlemanly scent. 
for a low price. Okay, it's www.executive slash you think shaving.com. Let's share the screen. Let's go shopping, guys. We desperately need a few dollar dazzlers in the bank. We've had two super chats so far. You guys set the budget. Mr. Smelly goes shopping. Conspicuous consumerism. Let's do this. Let's shop me happy. Shop me happy and get, get rid of the winter blues with conspicuous consumption. Here we go. Chrome tab sharing. We're going to executive shaving. We're going shopping. Sign up. Never mind all that. Never mind all that. Uh, all right. Let's have a look. So we're looking at shaving, blah, blah, blah. What are the different categories here? This could get a little bit uh, confusing. All right. Grooming. I think it comes under grooming. Uh-oh. Fragrances. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Are we sharing the screen yet? Let's get that screen shared. Okay, guys. We're going to executive shaving. Talk to me. What do I have to get? Izzy Miyake has some great cheapies. Okay. Suggest me one. Suggest me one and I may buy it. Okay. We need super chats to up the budget here. I've only got a six pound budget at the moment. All right. I might spend more than I get. Lacoste. I need more specific than that, man. I need more of a specific search. What is a good cheapie? Let's have a look at what we've got on this site then. Executive shaving. Let's see what they've got for me. Here it is, and we shall find out what we have. Whoops, hang on. I've seen a couple of things there in the past that I thought I nearly got, but I didn't get them. So let's see. If today it's time to make a goddamn purchase. Okay, so we're going for grooming. We're going for fragrances. What the hell? And I'm not – yeah, okay, let's have a look. Here we go, guys. Nothing happens. Okay. What the hell? All right, it's taking a moment. Okay, guys, look at this spectacular display of different things we've got to choose from. I want you guys to talk to me, and I want to know what we're going to buy together, guys. We've got 73 people in the room. Hit that thumbs up, and we desperately need super chats here. Bijan Men, I've already got it. Uh, is that the circular one? Very good fragrance. Already got it. Okay, the boucher on. Yeah, absolutely. I have the boucher on. I use it as a room scent. That's a waste, Alex. I'm not happy about I'm not happy about that at all. Good pen. Thanks, Hal. Let's talk pens, guys. Let's do pen comp. Okay, I have Fat Boy uh, Slim over at the weekend spinning tunes on the wheels of steel. What a, what a life you lead. Okay, uh, Kevin Chunk said Dan's last purchase was a, minis, a mini penis pump thank you for that comment okay let's have a look now guys we've got some good options here all right so coming in first we've got uh executive shavings own brand ranock eau de parfum problem that that's not really a cheapie at 100 mil for 85 so i'm not going to skip that likewise these italian Fel felci aromatica um lovely looking bottle don't know too much about them it's 62 pounds so it's not really a cheapie so i'm looking for something at the lower end ah Here's one. Oh, damn. Okay. I would have said to yes to this. We've got the, um, we've got there, uh, Clubman, Pinard Clubman, Lilac vegeta Vegetables, Lilac Vegetable, but Lilac Vegetable, 18 pounds, but the damn thing's out of stock. So that's no good to me. Guys, let me know what you think I should get. I can go somewhere else and get a different cheapie. I need names, guys, and I need super chats for these suggestions. Let's have a look at what else they've got on the site there. Uh, okay, this actually does interest me. I can tell you this brand, guys, Ex Extro Cosmesi by Donatello Cignello. These guys have some amazing fragrances. There's one called Fra Rinic that I've got. That's fantastic. A number of other really, really good ones. And this is only £17 for an eau de toilette uh, aftershave. So it's actually eau de toilette strength and it's a spray too. And you get it in a nice bottle with a man slathering his leather or whatever he's doing there. And I kind of like that. So we could possibly buy this one. I think this is an option for us. Tell me what you think about this one, guys. Let's get the note listing. Trouble with these guys. They have a nasty habit of not telling you the notes. So you are shooting in the dark, okay? It's telling me general thing. Ah, okay. Isalo, Is Isola, meaning island, is a refreshing mix of grapefruit, bay leaf, ooh, and watermelon with woody and patchouli notes. That doesn't sound too bad. I might take a chance on that. What do you reckon, guys? Shall we take a chance on Isola? I think we might take a chance, but let me see what you think. You guys think. Here we go. Hashtag non-sponsored. I tell you what. Funny enough, Erica, thank you. Great to see you in the chat there. Erica, Oda Erica, otherwise known as Erica 35mm. I am actually I'm not sponsored by them. I used to be, actually. Briefly, I did have a sponsorship arrangement, but the sponsorship fell through. But there's no hard feelings. Great place to get the uh, the, uh, the shaving type products and some super duper smelling stuff also on their side. I'm tempted by this one. Isola. Danny, just the name turns me off. Okay. Hair by Aftershave. American Blend. Encre Noir Lalique. 
Um, Encre Noir sounds like shit in French. Thank you so much for that comment there. Guys, where are the super chats? Did the super chat button break? Uh, let's have a look. Okay, we can't just buy the first thing we see. That's a very bad idea. I'm very tempted by Isola because I like that brand. Let's keep going, though. Um, Okie dokie, then. Come on, this site's a bit slow. I'm not happy about that. Uh, we've got some lotion. I don't want aftershave lotion. I want a proper fragrance. Oh, 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 oh. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one I want. Okay. We've got the Sanno Popofico Varnesio Vermorado, but that's, it's not really a cheapie at 60 quid for 100 mil. It's, 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 it's not expensive, but it's not cheapy. Let's go for this. Extro Cosmesi Roma. I believe that may mean Rome. It's a city in Italy. Uh, so let's have a look at that. You can't go wrong with that. Look, Roma. Okay, nice bottle. I like that. I think these guys, everything I've bought from them has been good. There's no way, no better way to finish your shave than with an extra Cosmeni, Cosmesi aftershave. Good point. Um, okay. We have very little idea how it smells. The Roma scent is an elegant fragrance which carries the scent of the flora of Rome west of the river Tiber. It is enriched by floral, woody, and resinous tones. It's a shot in the dark. I might take a shot in the dark tonight, though. What the hell? Guys, uh, let's uh, see what we think. Let's get, give me one more, two, one more, two uh, more suggestions. Lalique homage, then. Let's do a Lalique homage uh, search there. I might go back to these guys, but let me, let's try a different one. Okay, Lalique homage. People are telling me I need it. I'm not going to mess around tonight. I'm going to, guys, hit me with a super chat. I'm going to get this done quickly. Lalique homage. Let's go shopping for the leak, the leak homage. Here we go. What is so good about this fragrance then? Why are you all telling me I need it? I'm not impressed. Okay. <sighs> I don't know about the... Sh it's not looking that cheap, guys. Okay, La Lique homage. We are getting it... Yes, I did mean with two, uh, two M's. Of course I did. Okay, so £42. £125. What? Uh, La Lique pour homme lion is coming up. Okay, it's £42. So it's not mega cheap, but it's kind of cheap. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I get it. Maybe I get it. Let's have a look. Uh, all right. So Leek has a history with glass design. We don't need to know all that, do we? We know all that. What about the bloody smell of this thing? Okay. Guys, what's the smell like on this one? La Leek homage. Do you think I should get that one? I'm not sure I fancy that one. I don't know. Why should I get it? What's so good about it? Talk to me. It's discounted. I think I actually tried another La Leek that I found just okay somewhere, lol. Mm. Guys, you're not convincing me of the need to get Lolique L homage at this point in time. I'll, I'll share the screen with you, but uh, yeah, right now, I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling it. Let's, let's. I'll, I'll show you what I'm seeing here. I wasn't that impressed. I think you're steering me wrong here. Let's have a look. Lolique homage. Okay, forty-two quid. It's you know, it's not. It is quite cheap, but it's not like bargain basement prices. Okay, forty-two. Uh, 95. They claim it's discounted, but they all say that. Oriental, it's for males. That's me. It's a gift set, so you do get the shower gel, but that'll be gone in about three showers, won't it? Let's face it. And uh, let's see what they say. Apparently, it, uh, it evokes a timeless era of masculinity. Well, they all say that. It is the scent of a modern man. Oh, sounds like me, who appreciates the elegance and style of the past. That is me, but it's also attuned to the present. And is hungry for adventures in the future. No, I'm not really. Don't really fancy an adventure. Uh, I don't fancy that adventure, guys. I'm not. You're not. You're not selling me on Lalique Lomage. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not buying that. Can I have another suggestion, please? I got. I'm going to buy the fragrance before 26 minutes. We need. We are now on a desperate. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to share the screen. Fair point, guys. Hit me with the super chats there. Uh, we desperately need super chats. Super chats have gone real poor. Fine accoutrements, American blend. I've already got it in an aftershave, which I used up. It smells like Reeve Gosh, but I already have that. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that. I thought the super chat button had broken. $1.99 super chat takes us up to eight pounds. Officially, that's all our budget. Blake, I really appreciate it. Keep the super chats coming. Okay, listen, guys, I'm going to go back to the uh, the site there. I'm going to get something from ex ex Executive Shaving because I like that site. Okay, I I'll do as I please. And we're going to go to Share System Audio, Chrome Tab. Let's go to Executive Shaving before we up the game. What's going to get really fun is where we go niche and then I have to spend a lot of dollars. Roma sounds all right. Let's see what else they've got on the site. It is a good, if you're in the UK, they do have a really nice selection of some really nice, interesting, different things. And uh, we're going to go on, oh, just for you, just for you, they say. They claim they know all about me. I don't like that. Must be those cookies tracking me. Here we go. Um, let's see what else we've got then available from these guys. Okay, I hear good things about these line here, uh, the Musgo Reel. Are we seeing this on screen? Yes, we are. Okay, Musgo apparently is good. These, uh, these, I think they're Portuguese brand. I quite fancy the idea of one of those. But 
Uh, £85, I don't fancy that. They've gone up a bit, haven't they? Everyone's taking the mickey now. We've got Scottish Fine Soap Eau de Toilette. Yeah, I never heard of it, so I'm not really, I'm not buying into that right now. Okay, GF, GOF Trump, a lot of more expensive stuff here. These, yeah, uh, there's some okay looking things, but I've got to be honest. Oh, I want that Castle Forbes, maybe. Havana by GOF Trumper. That sounds quite nice. I could count that as a de uh, designer fragrance. I have heard those are very good. I do have that Nevis. That's actually very good. Uh, it's a, I think that's the one that's a bit like green Irish tweed, but uh, therefore I don't need to buy it. Let's keep going. I'm going to buy something on this site. I'm not going to mess around. Okie dokie. Aka Kappa. What? My scent 150. That sounds silly. Here we go. Oh, I know what I should maybe get. Paisley. I've heard GOF Trumper is good. Paisley. Shall I get Paisley by GOF Trumper? It's quite expensive. It's £54. Shall I do it? Bozianovic, thanks for nothing. What does he mean by that? Um, LMO Gents sent me a message today saying, oh, okay. He could use... Uh... I'm sorry this happened to you. There's no need to... Okay, attack this poor man who, who surely meant to help you. LMAO. Gents, now we don't know who Gents is, sent me a message today or email saying I could use this discount code, but only before 31st of October. Okay. Uh, hi, Dan. I told you you need Gainsborough G Man. Okay. Gainsborough G Man. Do I get Gainsborough G Man? Uh, okay. Smelly, welcome 10 discount. My, uh, what? Welcome 10. Discount count of mine. No, it's not. Stop it. Um, okay. I'm buying something now. I'm not going to, I'm going to mess around anymore here. I think we're going to go for a uh, possible GOF Trumper. Gainsborough G-Man. Okay. How, where do I buy that? Let's have a look. Gainsborough G-Man. Can we get, get this easily in the UK? Let me know what kind of fragrance this is. I'm not familiar. It's time we bought something, guys. And uh, Gainsborough G-Man is what we're looking for. It's, oh, Parfum Dreams. All right, then. Okay. Parfum Dreams, £5 delivery, £25. You're getting 100 mil. It captivates with its exclusive ingredient ingredients and their fine combination. Gainsborough G-Man has a spicy and bitter fragrance, the fragrance of the modern gentleman. Funny that they all say that. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really give you a note listing. Uh, light tobacco, precious wood, spicy herbs. and Okay. You reckon I should get this then, do you? Then I shall. Then I shall buy it. Okay, let's buy it live on air right now. I have to show you that I actually bought it. I don't want you guys to see it. Okay, let me just share the screen then on the Gainsborough G-Man. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good share, uh, screen sharing job. So let's present that screen. Gainsborough G-Man. Here we are, guys. We're going to buy the Gainsborough G-Man. I think it sounds fun. I, I trust this gentleman whose name I've forgotten who just told me to buy it. So let's just go on what a complete stranger tells me. Why not? What could possibly go wrong with that plan? And we're in. Something about cookies. I want all the cookies shoved down my throat okay just shove them in my throat i don't don't even ask me ah we do have a note listing okay let's check out the note listing for gainsborough g-man is it some kind of powerhouse i love the look of it it looks very old-fashioned in a kind of a good way and let's do a blind buy guys let's let's scratch the itch everything i told you not to do 25 dollars 99 pounds and um look at that yeah uh, uh, oh guess what 38 percent off the rrp they all tell you that here we go top notes so you got aldehydes bergamot lavender neroli sage and lemon the heart notes are angelica geranium and incense and your base notes are leather moss musk patchouli sandalwood and vetiver what could possibly go wrong let's buy gainsborough g-man so guys do you approve of my choice to buy this for 25 pounds it's about 30 pounds because we're gonna have to pay postage so great to see you in the room there fernando soto great part of the community we love you so much wonderful to see you here we also have roma womo from laura biagiotti is a classic benzoin with citruses thank you very much for the comment there gabriel Voj. excuse my um pronunciation i did my best but uh, what i'm going to do guys because we don't have time to uh to mess around let's have a go and we're going to go and buy the g-man eau de cologne gainsborough g-man is my choice of the day so i'm going to add it to the cart um go to the checkout no further messing around you can see there 25 pounds postage is a fiver 30 pounds and a bit so that works for me let's go to safe checkout don't worry i'm not going to show you my details uh i am a new customer or a guest that's me I can tell you my name. That's not a secret. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to fill in my name. Uh, okay, at this point, I'll go off. Uh, we'll stop sharing that right now. Uh, let me just quickly buy it so that you know I've bought. Okay, so we're going to go in there and we do the da, 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 da. last name, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, that one's 
I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. There's no point actually buying it. Well, no, you need the money shot, don't you? You need the money shot. I've got to actually buy it on screen. Otherwise, I'm just pretending. It's no bloody good if I don't buy it, is it? All right. Let's put in the email address. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. I just want the product now. Don't mess me around. Password. No, just give me the bloody thing. Here we go. Delivery address. Okay, I'm putting in my address. So what do you think about Gainsbridge E-Man, guys? Uh, I want to know your opinions in the chat there. Is it a good fragrance? Have I just been taken for a full like by someone in the chat should i have bought something with absolutely no real idea how it smells is, is this a bad example to everyone i don't know i don't know we're not sharing the screen right now but you can still see me 77 people let's get this bad boy bought now i want you to tell me in the comments what do i buy for the designer fragrance this is a cheapie now we need to go to the land of chanel we the land of uh dior etc givenchy all of these fantastic brands what do i buy i need a proper designer fragrance i actually haven't brought bought a designer uh fragrance for a while and i think it needs to get really sorted out okay address line here we go uh j j i'm just giving them my address without reading it out loud to you so people don't uh, kind of cut my head off with an axe which i'm sure many people in the community would like to and we're going to give them the uh email address for the umpteenth time come on man Tell me what I need then for a designer fragrance. It's been a while since I bought a designer. I think the last designer fragrance I actually bought, I don't even know what it was. I think it was Eau Givry by um, the Hermes. It was all right. I didn't really love it, to be honest. I bought it to do a review. No one watched the review. No one cared that I bought a new fragrance. And uh, it was really just a complete flop. If I'm completely honest with you, invoice address. Don't be stupid. I just want the bloody product, okay, to the next step. Good grief, 075. How's that invalid? All right, two seconds. Oh, okay, let's buy the bloody thing. Here we go. To the next step now. Payment method. All right. What? I'll do PayPal. Get on with it. So, guys, 75 people in the room. Hit the thumbs up button. It's just, I want to do it on screen so you know I've actually bought it. I'm a man of my word, okay? All right, we're logging into the, the thing. I'll tell you what, I'll do that next. We, yeah, yeah, okay. Assume I've bought that. It's not going anywhere, is it? It's not very good TV to just sit here. What? Okay, I've bought that. Okay, Gainsbridge G Man, 30 quid. Guys, desperately need super chats. Up the budget with a super chat. Let's go shopping. Now we're going designer shopping. Different case here. Where do you buy your designer products in the UK, guys? Let me know. And where would you go in the United States and America? It's a tough question to answer. We have a higher, high. <laughs> Hi, Chunks is right. That code does work. What well, he said something was actually really helpful in, in real life. Thank you, Kevin Chunks. I love you. Uh, great part of the community. Dior Fahrenheit. I have it. I already have it. Okay. Uh, cheapy Pro Raso. Yes, I do like Pro Raso fragrances. I have the original aftershave. It's pretty damn good, actually. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and buy it. We're going to buy a designer fragrance. Now, this could be a modern one. It could be a new release. Help me here, because I don't really keep up with all the latest designer releases, the Flotsam and Jetsam, guys. I need Dollar Dazzler, so, in the thing. I want to buy things that are going to be good for my channel. So, I mean, it would be nice. If, is there a real classic vibe designer fragrance that you don't, you've never seen me mention on the channel? What kind of house do we do? I mean, let's talk about different houses, okay? Chanel. I hardly need any more Chanel's, because I've got the ones I really love. I've got Poor Monsieur. Actually, Come to think of it. I've got Paul Michaud. I've got Egoists. I've got Platinum Egoist. I've got, I kind of used to have Allure Homme Sport. It was my signature scent. But I've when I got into fragrances, I kind of moved on. So I don't need to revisit that. And then Bleu de Chanel isn't my thing. Okay, it's all right. But there's no way someone like me needs it. So what do I buy from Chanel? You know, I don't know if I really need, do I buy the original Allure? I don't think so. Do I need Allure Homme Sport? Oh, Extreme. I don't think so. So maybe there's no Chanel, but although maybe I need Chanel Pour Monsieur, the Eau de Parfum. What do you guys think about that? That actually could be the one I need because I do like a bit of Chanel. I need your help to decide this. Chanel La Lyon. Ooh, saucy. The thing is, Margie, I count that as niche price wise. But yes, I will. I know there's a debate on that. Chanel La Lyon. Yeah, good call. Margie Noir in the chat. Great guest on Saturday. Great part of my regular live uh, team on a Saturday that I'm so lucky to have. Thank you, Margie. Good call. I also love Chanel Boy. Chanel Boy is amazing. I, that's very me as well, because I think the Leon is a bit sort of exotic. Is that right? I know Boy I love. 
hits like boy oh boy do I we'll, we'll do niche last last okay hi guys listening great great to have you in the chat there the lovely Margie Noir. uh her this is decent says Sean McSweeney but you don't say what help me um we've got uh Givenchy gentleman eau de parfum modern one maybe i need it okay you've got so much chanel it's coming out of your nose not literally but yeah i see your point now i do see your point what one of dolce and gabbana's the one or stronger with you absolutely absolutely not no i've got the one and the stronger with you is it's all right but yeah it's not my thing okay the, the original well, your Callie's groom groom gets great to see you in the chat there uh is good but severely watered down is it nowadays that's a sh- that's a, that is a shame chanel boy is amazing do i f- i've got to, listen i've got to buy some niche help i've got to, I've got to spend more money than i wanted to okay first of all i thought you liked girls dan says j-o oh, i see boy is that what you're saying very very clever um all right, thank you. Whoa, here we go. John Lewis have a 15% discount on Chanel at the moment. Okay, let's go to John Lewis. And um, yeah, I can still buy a more. If, if I buy Le Leon or Boy, I know it's some people would say it's designer. I would count that as niche price wise. Okay, but let's have a look at John Lewis and see if we can get If they've got a 50, it's rarely, rarely discounted. So it could be the great day to go there and buy. And I'm going to see what we can get there over. At, uh, I, 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 maybe I need a Chanel. Okay, number 89. Uh, I got that one, yeah. Floris 89, original uh, Ian Fleming scent. It is indeed Chanel number five. <sighs> yeah, I think I still have a slight tendency not to wear any uh, ladies' fragrances. That's messed up, isn't it? I don't have a policy not to, but I don't know if I'd really, you know. I don't know. Good point, though. Yeah, maybe I should buy that. Uh, scent of the day, scent of the night there. Drawn out scent says uh, Diptyque Tam Dow, sampling it. Okay, yeah, great, interesting fragrance. I know my friend, a uh, sandalwood fragrance, I believe. Al, Al- Haramain Detour Noir says Sean McSweeney. I have not tried that one. Okay, uh, let's go to John Lewis and see what we can get here. Let's see what we can get over at John Lewis. And apparently, there is a sale on Chanel's men frag- men's fragrances. Let's share the screen. Mr. Smelly goes shopping. Guys, you haven't been very generous with the super chat. Seems weekends are better. Help me. I desperately need funds here. Okay, let's go to the John Lewis thing and have a look at what these guys are selling. I Honestly, I want the cookies. Please give me the cookies. Don't even ask me that again. I get very angry when you do it. All right, what should I look for? Should I just type fragrance? Or, no, I, let's go Chanel then. But I don't really want to look at all the makeup, do I? Uh Oh, men's fragrances Chanel. Okay, that should uh, that should work. That should work. Okay, so we got that on the screen. Redirecting, please wait for great offers from Lewis.com. Please wait. Oh dear, something's gone badly wrong here. Maybe it doesn't like you sharing the screen, or what happened? Okay, okay, we got there. What the fuck was that? That's not what I asked to see, was it? Let's try that again. Shop Chanel, men's fragrances. Thanks, that's better. That's what I was hoping to see. Okay, guys, let's have a look. So we've got a range of men's fragrances, and apparently we've got percentages off. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Let's get that thumbs up over 50. Thumbs up count at the moment is on, oh, 51. Let's get it over 100, guys. 100's the next goal. 83 people in the room. Uh, I might open this up to a guest later. I might not. Maybe I don't feel like talking 21 tonight. I've had enough of all of you. Um, Here we go. Rudy recently dropped a great review for Chanel 1957. Thank you. Great one. Oh, yeah. Good call there, Margie. Everyone said that's really good. Uh, What about Pasha Parfum? That's Cartier Pasha Parf, the uh, Eau de Parfum or Parfum or whatever they're calling it. I did hear things good about that one. I might have to buy it. I feel like I, I feel it's like this um this uh chanel urge to be honest with you the enablers there in the chat they're helping me out okay let's have a look then at what's uh what's going on with the um the chanel stuff okay so doesn't seem to be anything going on about 15 oh yeah save for 15 percent on selected lines price includes saving Okay, so these prices, oil. okay, so let's have a look at your Chanel options these days. A long time since I went to buy a brand new Chanel. Let's see what we've got. Okay, Bleu de Chanel, yeah, obviously fine, but it's not something I'm interested in, uh, any product of the Bleu de Chanel line. It's just not my scene. Okay, Allurum Sport is quite good, but I used to wear it for ages before I got into the hobby. I don't feel any need to revisit it, to be honest. Chanel Pour Monsieur there is coming in at £76.50. I don't know if that's for the 100 mil. 
Um, so yeah, Bleu de Chanel Parfum, not, not particularly interested in that. There you've got the Allure on, uh, which is ranging from 55 to 76 pounds. So if that's 76 pounds for hundred mil, that's a little bit below the going rate. That's a good price for these Chanel's, uh, par- the, the, uh, these ones here, Paris, Venice, Les, Les Eaux. These are rather charming actually. And uh, I remember Claire had a couple of these when they first came out. She was terribly excited to get them she had that 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 shopping addiction urge she had to buy the latest thing but they were rather good okay so you got egoist there is a great option for the uh, discerning person it still smells great in the modern formula you can pick that one up for 76 pound 50 let's just have a quick look at that and yeah 100 100 mil there for 76 pound 50 so these are these are good prices i don't need it i've already got it but uh, yeah if if i didn't it would probably be the ideal thing to buy uh, let's keep going down the list maybe they don't have the uh, the one I was thinking of. Okay, we've got the Eau de Cologne from the Exclusives, which again is more like a niche price. You can debate with me whether that's a niche or desi- design or whatever. Um, okay, then we've got Jersey or some of these other ones. Beige Exclusives. Where's I don't think they're going to have Chanel Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum, or, or are they? Let's keep going, guys. There's a lot of choice. There's a lot of choice. Number 18, Queer de Russie. Yeah, I would call that a niche show. Let's uh, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Okay, ah, here we go. Email when available. Oh, thanks a lot. Out of bloody stock. All right. The one I was thinking of then was the Poor Monsieur 75 mil, which I could have got for a cracking 66 pounds. But Sod's Law, they don't have it. So forget that idea. That's out the window. I'm going to have to get something else then. I'm very angry. Uh, Beeritz is actually really nice. Yeah, some of these other ones are good. I think I've exhausted the uh, the possibilities there, go guys. Guys, we desperately need thumbs up there. Keep those coming. Are you on the official website? No, we're on John Lewis, which is a popular department store, and they've got fifteen percent off on the Chanel's at the moment. So I could buy. I could listen. If I can't think of anything else, I'll just go and pay the extra fifteen percent on another site and get uh, Chanel Pour Monsieur EDP. But maybe I should be more daring. Declaration Parfum Cartier. All right, maybe I should get that. Why should I get that, though, guys? I will uh, give extra weight to Super Chat. Super Chat's still on the ground tonight. Okay. Yes, uh, Chanel discounted. That is super strange and suspicious. Not on the sh- John Lewis is completely, that's like a very, very, it's not quite Harrods, but yeah, there, there's no concerns with John Lewis. They're so big that they might very occasionally be able to do a discount on a Chanel. So don't don't be alarmed, Fernando, but thank you for the thought there. Yes, Cartier L'Envol is really good, a kind of honey fragrance, J.O. That's worth a thought. I did have it, actually, and then I sold it. So it obviously didn't mean that much to me. Uh, I, I heard there was a great fragrance available called Swordfish. Yeah, I think that was Dr. Vlad Bulovic. A late 2019 release, but unfortunately, the the camp the, the bottle he sent me was lost in a very unfortunate incident, which Sean is uh, well aware of the, the what happened there. It was stolen by a neighbour. Very sad, uh, famous incident. Here we go. Hello, Gerard George, great uh, guest from the other side. Hermes Bellamy. Oh, Bellamy Vetiver, good call there, Margie. Hermes Bellamy Vetiver. I do hear great things about that one. I don't even have the original Bellamy. Maybe okay. Let's talk about some of these ones. Okay. Let's have a look at Margie's suggestions. She is quite a smart person, so maybe it's time to listen to somebody else. Uh, Hermes Bellamy Vetiver. Let's see if we can pick that one up for a bargain. Bellamy. Or do I just need Bellamy full stop because I don't have that? You know, I don't like to get the flanker if I don't have the original. I feel a bit weird. I feel kind of dirty. Okay, let's have a look. Let's best. Let's go to the best. It usually directs you to the best shopping place. Let's share the screen. 91 people in the room. Hit the thumbs up button. Let's get over 100 on a Monday. Make my day, punk. Um, okay, so let's go for the Hermes Bellamy Vetiver. Let's have a look at that one. I've got an itchy, itchy wallet finger. £98 on uh, Notino for 100 mil. So it's not cheap, but okay. I could buy an eBay one for 78 quid there, but to save 20 quid and it's not full, I don't know. I might as well just get the real deal. Uh, oh, Oh, no, some old ones on there, but they're small minis, which I don't really want. Mm. Hermes Bellamy Vetiver. Or do I just get Hermes Bellamy full stop? Or is that a bad idea? Talk to me, guys. I need your advice. Hermes Bellamy Vetiver is tempting. Let's go for the Pasha one that Margie mentioned too. Guys, help me. I need your direction here. Okay, let's go for the Pasha de Cartier. What's it called again? Pasha. Pasha. Cartier Parfum. Let's have a look at Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Okie dokie. We've got good options here for this bad boy. 
And uh, let's go to All Beauty seems to be coming in with a great price, but maybe the wrong one. Hang on a minute. Uh, yes, I want the cookies. God damn you. Okay, the Eau de Parfum spray. I presume this is what we're talking about. 60 quid for the Eau de Parfum spray. And I do hear that it's rather good. Okay, apparently this is a tie. Oh, this is a review. I don't want to hear your opinions. I don't care about the public's opinions. Where is the note listing? All beauty. Give me the information I need. What's the notes in this thing? Okay, 60 quid though is not bad, is it? For a uh, 100 mil. Uh, that's 60 pounds. It, nowadays, it's very similar to your dollars. It's almost just $60. Okay, here's what they tell you. It portrays, here's the nonsense they they, they spin here. Uh, here we go. Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Pasha de Cartier Parfum portrays a bold flourish of modern fougere flavor. Yeah, that means nothing whatsoever. Bringing the classic Pasha de Cartier fragrance into the modern era. Thank you. Good idea. This high impact scent, I like that, features a prominent blend of sandalwood liquor. That sounds nice for me. Balsam fir, tonka bean, a ambrosinide, ambrosinide. That sounds like some kind of a war crime. Ambrosinide, guilty. You've been found guilty of ambrosinide. And you will be sentenced. Benzoin, patchouli, and labdanum. It sounds a bit saucy. I quite like the sound of this one. Okay tell you what that's top of my list at the moment i've got to go about five minutes before i need to buy a designer pasha de cartier parfum as suggested by margie is currently top of my list here we go uh great suggestion thank you blake one dollar 99 super chat go with rogue bon monsieur better than poor monsieur tell you what i've already got it it's fantastic you've got a great point there thank you so much we've only got a ten dollar budget from you guys so far but i'm not pricing it on super chats but please up the budget with super chats okay um so we've got a great super chat though thank you so much for the support there blake with a one dollar 99 super chat go with rogue bon monsieur tell you what for my niche option that's a great option to buy something from bon monsieur and i do know um the uh the a place to get those so go with great thank you so much to you you're an amazing uh person in the chat there blake oh, no i've seen your face before or, or at least your name not your face your emblem is some kind of container which is nice go with rogue bon monsieur better than poor monsieur yeah great love rogue perfumery stuff here we go claytron coming in hard pasha edp is amazing love it okay should we go for that i think we need to just go for it margie bellamy vetiver though is a masterpiece. People keep saying this. Consensus is the vet of a flanker is better on the Bellamy. Thank you. I'm not cots Margie now. Margie now. Now you don't 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 go back on what you said. I am not super confident in Pasha Parfum only because I sprayed it once. I believe it dries down to an oody base, but it would be a decent risk. I'm not risk averse. It is blind buying. It's everything I told you not to do, guys. Guys, if uh, the point I made in my video is still true, don't buy fragrances if you don't need them. Sometimes I do. I've got a channel to run, and this is entertainment for you. I'm buying them so you don't have to. Live through me. Okay, guys. Santos de Cartier, better than Parfum. Okay. Great point, but I, we're not doing Santos. Did you mean Pasha? Um, okay. I smell there. Nice to see you. Only Pasha de Cartier I own is the Sport Edition. Yes, that or Hermes. Okay, got to get back to work. Well, thank you, Margie. You just come in here, make me spend money, and then go back about your business. Thanks. That's very irresponsible. No, really nice to see you in the chat. Love you lots, Margie. Okay, that or Hermes. Okay, got to get back to work. There you go. Um, Dunhill Icon. I've got it. Fantastic fragrance. Wonderful. Uh, kind of citrus woody, citrus woody, woody aromatic. You know what I mean? Great, great fragrance. Uh, can't go wrong. Um, uh oh. That ambrosonide in the Pasha doesn't jive with everyone. Just a disclaimer. Shall I get the Hermes then? Is Do you think the Hermes is a... Is, is it maybe more me to get the Hermes Bellamy Vetiver? Um, yeah, I think I might get the Hermes Bellamy Vetiver then. What happened with the price on that? I can't remember. Let's go and find that again. Oh, it's quite expensive though. £98? Jeez, man. Is that the best price out there? Jeez, man. Better be good. £98 for Bellamy Vetiver. Do I really need that in my life? I don't know. Um, all right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Sheepra Woody, okay. A bold, assertive charm. I like bold, assertive charm. I tell you what. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. So, so far, guys, I bought Gainsborough G-Man for about £30. It's a kind of powerhouse. I like the sound of it. Gainsborough G-Man. We're buying one cheapie. One designer and one niche, okay? 
We're going shopping. We're S H O P P I N G. We're shopping. Thank you, Pet Shop Boys. I tell you what, Hermes Bellamy, I, I'm not that excited about it. I can't just do it for TV for 98 quid. No, I'm not buying that. I'm not that excited. Help me. I need a designer fragrance and I need it now. 4.40 on Fragrantica. <sighs> I don't know, man. What's so good about it? I don't know. I'm going to look at the Fragrantica. I'm a bit stuck now. I don't feel that. I don't like people telling me to get it. Fragrantica. I suppose it's a bit boring if I just buy my umpteenth Chanel, isn't it? <sighs> okay, let's have a look at Fragrantica and see what it says on there. Um, Bellamy Vetiver. Let, let's see what they say. Maybe I'll do what you tell me then, you people out there. Let's get rid of these things. Let's have a look at Fragrantica on this uh, Bellamy Vetiver. Everyone's telling me, as soon as you tell me to do it, it makes me not want to do it. That's my personality type. Okay, so let's share the screen. Let's go to share system audio. Let's go to where I've looked up. Fragrantica, Fragrantica. Uh, here we go. Uh, Bellamy Vetiver, uh, 2013 release, nine years old. I did not realize that. Okay. What are they saying about this scent, guys? It's a lot of money. Uh, okay. They say it's a fragrance for men, and it's John Claude Eleanor, who is quite good at making fragrances. I will admit that. Russian leather, my favorite kind of leather. Vetiver, Elemy, Amber, Styrax, Carnation, Cardamom, Iris, Vanilla, Civet, Basil, and Patchouli. That sounds nice. It does sound nice. It's a lot of money, though. A lot of money. Um, this may be... Oh, what? This may be the most beautiful masculine fragrance I've tried. I think John. I think that's John Claude Eleanor in disguise who's writing that. But let's have a look. This is recognisable from the Soizac original, I guess, formula for the Bellamy, but with several important changes, including the elimination of the lemon. It was eliminated. The addition of a few notes like Elemy and the intensification of vetiver. All right, then. Does sound quite good, doesn't it? Does sound quite good. What do you reckon, guys? Do I need it? Maybe I need it guys i think we need to make a decision here i can't sit around poncing around making no decisions that chanel dan is at boots it would be a lot cheaper to get chanel the the well a little bit not that much cheaper actually only about a tenner cheaper don't be so tight mr smelly you barely uh, buy anything you cheap get all right that's a decent score yeah that's true check out nikos sculpture already got it fantastic lovely lovely summer holiday Vibes, Costume National, Om, EDP, Dan says, I, I smell. Yeah, could do, could do. I did smell it and liked it. Um, good evening to, thanks, Mike. Uh, good evening, Dan, and chat says, Ken shaving and BSing. Okay, but you're asking us to tell you what to do. I know, I know. I have a major, yeah, I'm being silly. Uh, okay, let me buy something. Clay, to thank you, thank you, thank you for the comment there. Claytron says, watching your channel for years now, and I really think you would like Pasha. Descartier EDP for what it's worth. Okay. Um, I heard it's Indonesian patchouli, <laughs> Mr. Smelly1970. That's the only type of patchouli I like. Iranian patchouli? Forget it. Um, you're out of here. Azerbaijani patchouli, don't even waste my time. Here we go. Uh, Shergi, Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. Oh, yeah. Givenchy Reserve Gentleman Privé. I heard good things. If you've got a good bit more money, I'm going to do niche next. I think you can get an Amouage tester for around $110. I just put Portrayal Man for that. I just bought Portrayal Man for that uh, amount. Thanks for the tip there. Really appreciate that. Let's, let's have a look at uh, Mike's suggestion there. Wasn't horrendous for the old costume national. I'm a, I'm a bit of a tight git. So let's just try that one as well, because um, that could be an option, I think. So Costume National for men or whatever it's called. Let's see if that one comes up. Costume National Hom. Here we go. Uh, where's the shopping, guys? Let's go shopping. Guys, we're shopping on the internet with Mr. Smelly, a unique concept. 120 people watching. You enjoy the concept, guys. I don't even need guests. I'm the star. I'm joking. I'm joking. I have some amazing guests on the show. This weekend was amazing. Really great panel. But it's good to see, even if I just do this, some people find it good. Okay, give me credit. Like, some people give me a bit of stick. 
if you hadn't noticed online. Ah, at least I've done something that's kind of new to go shopping together, isn't it? Kind of fun. Uh, let's have a look at this one then. I'm intrigued to know. Guys, the super chats are appalling tonight. Do you think I do this to amuse you? Please, please, desperately need a super chat. Here we go. There needs to be a Mr. Smelly's favorite types quiz. I'm going to do that actually. We're going to actually have a game show, I think, this weekend. I was watching an old episode of uh, Bullseye. <laughs> What a show that was. Uh, we're gonna have a I'm gonna have a version of that in one. A fantastic toaster. In two. Impress your friends with this new washing machine. It was an amazing show. Here we go. Uh, Dan in fragrance hunting mode. That's a very generous Mexican $125 super chat. Thank you, Dan in fragrance hunting mode. Really appreciate that. Dan in fragrance hunting mode. Jim Bowen, it was hosted. Thank you, Fernando, for the super chat. That fragrance show was hosted by politically incorrect comic Jim Bowen. Hello, folks. It was absolutely hilarious. Luckily, he reined it in with the jokes with those people. But uh, yeah, we are indeed, JJ. What we're doing is we're going to buy one uh, cheapy, one designer, and one niche. And we're trying to finalize the designer. Uh, at the moment, top runners are Pasha de Cartier, the Parfum, or Eau de Parfum, or whatever you call it. Uh, that newish one and Bellamy Vetiver, but I'm feeling a bit mean, so I might go with. <laughs> I'm looking at Costume National, which I've heard is quite good too. Although actually, it's not much. It's 69 quid um, for that one. I also have a boring part of me that just wants to get Chanel Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum because I've never owned it and it's very me. At the end of the day, you know, I'm very me and I come back to what I know that I like style wise. Costume National, though, 66 quid. Okay, you've got to help me decide now, guys. I will take some. Uh, some some help from you guys, okay? Stay out of the black and into the red. Nothing in this. Nothing in this. This is the words from Bullseye. Uh, yeah, great show. Stay out of the black and into the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. What a great show it was. Uh, hilarious quips as well from Jimbo into the uh, the hapless permed 1970s uh, unemployed uh, people who used to go on the show. No, 1980s. Uh, yeah, it was kind of grim. Yeah, one I, I watched the episode yesterday. She he said to this one woman, "Oh, what do you what do you do? Oh, uh, what do you do for a living then, love? Oh, I, I work in the uh, I work in the social security. Oh, very busy at the moment then, because everyone everyone was unemployed then, it was, as they still are now. But yeah, it was a uh, bit grim, bit grim. They were it was a lot of a lot of grim up north type people there. Not that there's anything wrong with the north of England, but uh, yeah, here we go. Do a poll of your top three designer choices. Two dollars from Mister Clean. Yeah, guys, you're gonna have to help me uh, decide here. Uh, Paul Monsieur is a must. Beautiful scent, the parfum. I'm going a bit that way, guys, because I know it's safe and I like it. And I'm going to annoy everybody. I might just get the one that I know that I want. I'm sorry. Listen, it's real money. I'm not spending toy money here because you never suited but chatted me enough to buy it. Great. So this is my own money I'm spending. So I want something. I'm not doing this to please you. I want something I'm definitely going to like, don't I? Before I get emotional here. Okay. So I'm going to just buy what I want. I'm stubborn, okay? Sean will tell you that. I'm like an ostrich with my head in the sand. Let's just go to Boots. Did I deliver or what? How does that work? Uh, 78 pounds. That's quite a good price. I'll take that. Okay. Do you deliver Boots? Probably not. Uh, add to basket. Ooh. Premium 20 to save up to 20%. Probably doesn't count on this. Add to the basket. Let's do it, guys. I'm buying Chanel Port. Look, you can't go wrong with the Chanel, can you? So I'm going to go and buy this live on camera now. And that's exciting for the community. 113 people. You guys actually like this concept. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support, in at least in terms of numbers. Obviously, the Super Chats tonight have been a little bit uh, unkind, to put it one way. Uh, but a couple of people at least cared. Thank you so much, Fernando Soto. Thank you, Mr. Clean. I really appreciate your Super Chat. It's very kind of you. $2 generous Super Chat. I might do a poll, but at the end of the day, it comes down to my stubborn decision. Thank you. Really appreciate the Super Chats that have come in. Fernando Soto with that very generous 125 Mexican dollar Super Chat. And Mr. Clean, really, you're generous and enough with your time uh, but and your grace by being on the show with me that you don't need to Super Chat. But I don't complain if you do. Thank you. Um, so let's present the screen again. Let's go. Let's just buy something. We're going to buy Chanel because you can't go wrong with that one. And I've wanted it a long time. And I know I won't regret it. Honestly, I know I won't regret it. With the others, they might even be more exciting and better, but it's more of a risk. I just know this is safe. This is safe. I will 100% value it. I will 100% put it in list videos. I will 100% talk about it. 
And we've got £3.75 delivery. That'll do me. Oh, £4.95 to get it next day. I'm impatient. I might do that. Okay, so let's add it to the basket. Get on with it, Boots. Check out now. I don't have time to mess around. And am I registered? Of course I'm not registered, you fool. Faster checkout. Blah, blah, blah. Get on with it. Let's buy Chanel. Poor monsieur. Okay, let me just kind of put that through so that I'm kind of halfway doing it. I don't know if I'm going to actually buy it literally live, but I promise you I'm buying it. They're going to the checkout. Okay, guys, let's, let me tell you that I'm going to buy that one for the £78. That's going to be bought. I'll go full screen on that bad boy. I'll prove to you that I've bought them. I promise I'm buying it. But there's no point sitting here talking to you while I enter it. So we've done, basically, we've done Gainsbridge G-Man for 35 quid. And we've done Chanel Pour Monsieur, the Eau de Parfum, for 78 quid. Now we've got to spend even more money because I'm going to get a niche fragrance, all right? Tell me what you people think about that. I want to know your thoughts on that. Let me just... Um, Da -da 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 -da. offer code what was it called premium 20 uh okay i'll do the checking out off screen but i promise you it's not going to go out of stock so i'm going to buy that so we've done okay chanel pomisseur and we have done gainsbridge g-man so the, the name of the game here is mr smelly goes shopping on uh online so you don't have to you can live vicariously through me i uh, basically scratching my shopping itch after doing a whole video that got loads of views telling people not to buy fragrances, I am doing my utter best to be a complete hypocrite and annoy my haters. And I'm going shopping online. OK, here we go. So let's have a look, guys. Uh, we've got some great suggestions. Here we go. I know. I know. Mr. Smelly, you said that we should stop buying. I know the irony is immense. Vule, vule, great to see you in the chat. The, the point I'm making here is, guys, I said to the average person out there, yeah, be careful. Be careful, sunshine, I said, because if you can't afford it or if you don't need it, don't buy it. I did say that. That's true. I didn't say never buy a fragrance again. And I am a person running a fragrance entertainment YouTube channel. That's a bit different. OK, so I say do as I say, not as I do. I occasionally do need to buy some fragrances and I actually don't have any kind of shopping addiction. So I've gone shopping today. So you don't have to. OK, because I need two or three more additions to bump up my channel. Fair point, though. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. You guys. I, and I'm helping you not buy because you can live through me. Chat is suggesting really good fragrances. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Don't forget to hit the like. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Let's get that like over 100. Thank you so much, Fernando Soto, for the $125 super chat. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah, Dan Smith, there's a sale on it, John Lewis, but it's out of stock. So that's life, isn't it? So, so far, I've bought two fragrance. Thank you so much, guys. 104 winning, Dan. Thank you, Dan. You, um, Danny, Danny, and still. Okay, let's go shopping again, guys. Now it gets really fun. We're going big time. We're going niche. Expensive, all right? Let's go expensive. Let's be ballers. Watch people. I need to get Paul Thorpe on the show. He's a great guy. I really enjoy his channel, actually, especially when he talks about horrific robberies, which are, it's not a very nice subject, but he's very good at talking about robberies. A lot of people get robbed of Rolexes, particularly in London. And at what point do these people realize probably not a good idea to wear a Rolex out to a for, you know, a, a fancy hotspot in London? And then you think, well, what's the point of having a Rolex if you can't wear it out? I don't know, man. Scary, isn't it? Smell, uh, smelly would suit Fates Parzans by MDCI. I'll tell you what, I'm thinking about an MDCI. Okay, so we're going to buy one more fragrance and it's going to be niche. We're going to go big. Here we go. Uh, my first that you wrote down. Yes, 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 indeed. You did suggest a good one, which was uh, Fougere Emerald by Les on Indomitables. And also Rouge Tobac Vert, Rogue Tobac Vert. Thank you, Mr. Clean, for the generous super chat. Uh, so he says, my first you wrote down, plus Rogue to back Vert. That's a uh, $2 super chat. Mr. King, you are very, very kind. And he's talking about a great brand, Rogue. And I know where I can get them in the UK. So that's definitely on the radar. Um, I'll tell you one thing that I've got in my mind as well is also MDCI Parfums. I either want Sheet Propalitan or, and probably this is an off the radar one, I actually love the one whose name I've forgotten, um, Fougère, uh, not Invasion Barber, uh, Le Barbier de Tonger, Le Barbier de Tonger, 2016 release. I think it was, uh, I've forgotten the lady who, who perfumerized it, but it's very, very good. Uh, Tommy Bahama there with the, uh, yes, indeed, a very nice fragrance. It's just very beachy in summer and Dan is far, and Dan is far from that. No, I do, I love things like Virgin Island Water by Creed. I love all those smells. So yeah, totally into those vibes, 100 Buy a Rolex live down. I tell you what, I need a Rolex. I'm buying my next Rolex before this year is out. I need 
a Rolex. Hey, hey, Heat Worldwide. No, no, no. Archie was robbed and we're not happy what happened to poor Archie. I feel really bad for him. In fact, to the people who robbed Archie, in his own words, this is how I feel towards you. My anger to you knows no bounds. You are a fucking piece of shit and I can't fucking stand you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You morally bankrupt fucking turd. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sheep propeller tan, you know, I've been itching. I won't go wrong with that because I've been itching to uh, itching to get it, you know. So, yeah, the, the theme is if you're just joining us, guys, we're buying three fragrances, okay? We're buying one cheapy, one designer, one niche, okay? We've already bought Gainsborough. Uh, Gainsborough G-Man, I don't know what it's all about, some kind of powerhouse 70s, 80s hairy chest fragrance. It was about £35 delivered. No problem. Done. Then I bored everyone by getting Chanel Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum because I know I like it. I've wanted it for a long time. There were other great suggestions, but I didn't really know if I would like them, and I just wanted to stay safe. So now we're going shopping for niche. We're going to go balls deep into the niche game, guys, and we are gonna. I'm going to try and, uh, yes... Sheep Moose for Dan. Is that the one you love? Uh, so, JJ, what do you think about Sheep Moose for Dan? Thank you, Margie. Help me. Is that a rogue? I don't even know. Talk to yeah, if Because if one of these little brands, and I don't have to spend that much money. Uh, otherwise, if I get MDC, i got to spend about 200 quid. So let me know. Let me know the um, the name of that one, and I'll go for it. Pomegranate Noir, Joe Malone. Good idea. Yeah. Don't think I really love, 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 love that one. I've tried it before. It's nice, but it didn't excite me enough. But thank you, Vulevi. Elegant choice. I love when he says knows no bounds, very Shakespearean. I've, I, he is very Shakespearean. I've said before, Archie should play Shakespeare at the old, but he should play Iago or possibly um, Falstaff or someone like that. He, he is the, the the embodiment of Falstaff as, what was it, who, whoever said uh, King Henry IV said, we're in worthy, but in nothing. Uh, but I mean that in a nice way. A great man, a great man. Okay, he, he could do that. Okay, don't get Alfred Sung. Dan, get Alfred Sung home. Yeah, I was going to, well, that's not niche. Uh, that I've blown my load on the cheapie already. I've blown my load all over you guys, so I'm afraid uh, we can't help you. The, that load's been, the sh uh, we're, no, that load has been blown. Let's go, let's go shopping for niche, guys. Okay, Pontiff Lord, got to go get, okay, Sheep Moose. Is one of my best, most beloved fragrances. JJ, who is it by? Okay, I need to find this one. I need to find Sheep Moose right now, guys. Let's find it. Sounds like I would like it. Let's try it out. Someone help me. Stop being cryptic. I need to know the brand, and I will buy now. Guys, hit me with super chats if you want to bump up that budget a little bit. Sheep Moose. Let's go shopping, guys. It's by... Who? Is this right? Aritzia L. Legrand. Is this correct? Let's have a... Hang on a minute. I'm confused. It's launched in 1914. Is this the right one? Help me, JJ. I'm, I'm Oh, Le Grand. It is by them. Okay. Is this the right one? Let's do a screen share. I will bark blind by this moment, this very day before your eyes, because I'm, 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 a, I'm that kind of guy. I live life on the edge. Um, let's have a look. Why don't you show me where to buy it? Here we go. Okay. Sheep Moose. Here it is. Is this the one, guys? Okay. Sheep Moose by Oritza. El Le Grand. It's for women and men. I'm one of those. Good. And it's, they are, they originated, they claim, in Paris in 1720. I believe you. Or it's El Le Grand. I like the bottle. Is this the right one? Let me know. Okay. And let, let's hear all about it. I'm excited. I want this. 101 people. Guys, let's do this. That sounds right up my alley. Even though I don't know what it means. It just sounds like a sheep that's moose. I like moosey sheep So let's have a look. Uh, does it have a chocolate moose note? Or, or is it the animal? I need to know. Here we go. Or does it mean moss? Here we go. Mr. Smuddy, what fragrance can I use to mask the smell of testicle fungus? Um, I would get a very good wire scrubbing brush first and have a go with that. And uh, then see see where you go from there. Yeah, you got to really get you want to get get them scrubbed. Get them, take them to the cleaners and get them get them scrubbed. Get a proper job on them done and take it from there get them scraped okay here we go we're gonna have a look at this sheep moose i tell you what a lovely bottle design and i don't half like a sexy bottle i don't know the price yet that's going to be interesting i got a feeling it might be one of those not that ridiculously expensive okay let's talk about this fragrance uh we've got a uh it's a sheep fragrance for men and women it was launched in 1914 the year that the first world war broke out following the murder of uh arch Duke Franz Ferdinand. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, top notes then. Fennel. Nice. Mint. Green notes and clary sage. Middle notes of oak, moss, clover, angelica, fern, galbanum, mastic, and lentisk. 
Yeah, Violet Leaf, uh, and also oak, mo uh, oak, oak notes of base moss. No, base notes of oak moss, soil tincture. Dear, oh dear, sounds awful. Boletus edulis, which sounds like uh, a form of food poisoning, but I I'll try it. I, I got a bit of Boletus edulis. Uh, I was up all night. Vetiver, chestnut resins, pine tree needles. I love that. Labdanum and leather. Ah, uh, yeah, man, this sounds good. I'm not going to re read the nonsensical blurb. Let's go straight to the reviews, though, guys. Uh, this is like a classic, a classic I can get behind. Uh, okay, here we go. I want a short review. I don't want a bloody essay. Here we go. Desk, m dense musky undergrowth. Uh, if musky undergrowth is a foreign concept to you, you have to try sheep from moose. Weird in every, weird in a very weird way. Oh dear. Not, that's not good. Not a true sheep at all. There's absolutely no contrast between light and darkness here, but all in all the perfect scent to satisfy an irrepressible need for autumnal mood. I quite like that description. What do you think of that, guys? It does sound saucy. Okay. Um, so are you telling me Dan can handle the earthy? I think I can handle earthiness. Yeah, I can handle earthiness. Okay. It does sound pretty nice. So, uh-oh. Uh, Mega Ren, on another note, your Tottenham Hotspurs drew us. AC Milan, Athletic Club Milan in the Champions League uh, knockout round. Thank you. Good luck to you and your team, sir. Kind sir. Well, thank you. And that's a very sporting way of putting it. And therefore, I will return the best wishes to you. Best luck to you. Yeah, we've had, we've, I mean, AC Milan, let's be honest. Uh, Milan has a better record in football overall than Tottenham with the league championship wins and European Cups. So, more, a, a, a better team than us overall. But uh, we've had some good results when we played you, I think, in the 2011. I think we beat you then, luckily. And, and going right back to the 70s. Uh, we did manage to get the uh, the win over you, I think, in the UEFA Cup. Uh, I think it was the, the semi-final with a goal from Steve Perryman before we went on to win against Wolves. Uh, there. But I'm sure many in the audience didn't come to hear about that. But thank you for the good sportsmanship there. Good luck to you too. I fancy you're going to get you're going to knock us out. I said to my friend, that is the end of our European Cup run there. We ain't going to beat them. OK, moving on. Um, all right. Strong contender then. Strong contender is the Sheepra Moosey, the Moosey Sheepra. Uh, so let's see if he runs into my review. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not going to watch the whole review now, but I maybe should check. But I'm, we're going to buy tonight. Hello, Dan, brother. If that's you, Joy Amin, hello. I think the chances of it being you are slim. Let's find out if it's a real Joy Amin. If it is Joy Amin, I really like Joy Amin. I've got a funny feeling. It's a bullshitter. Uh, da, 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 da. I need a kind of little jingle for bullshitter or real account. Uh, Joy, if it is you, forgive me for just insulting you, but I don't think it's you. OK, I don't think it's you. Go to channel. I'm checking the channel. Let's see if it's a man with loads of subscribers and loads of videos. No, it's this channel doesn't have any content. Joy, you're not the real Joy. I'm going to have to block you. Joy doesn't like it when he's imitated. Some people don't really care. He doesn't like it. I've Out of respect to him, you are blocked. In fact, you know what that means, don't you? You know exactly what that means. Goodbye. I am disgusted. I am so disappointed in you. We don't want you in the community anymore. We really don't want you here. It's so sad for me to have to say this. And it gives me great, no great pleasure at all to ban you from this community. We don't want you. We want you to pack up your crap and get the bike out of here. Bear that in mind, fake Joy I'm in account. Okay, this is a really good sounding fragrance. However, is it a little bit risky? Guys, let me know. The real Joy would be a legendary guest. I tried. It's bad timing for him. Uh, it's bad timing for him. 112 people in the uh, the room there. Okay, this is a strong contender then, this, this cheap Ramoose. Let's see how we buy the bugger then if we need to buy it. Okay, let's see how we buy it. I don't even know how much it costs. If it's cheap for a niche, then I like it more. If it's a lot of money. Ooh, wowza. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's coming up at Butin, Beauty Now, which I've not tried before, but I could risk it. It's coming in at 91 euros. So that's really good for a hundred mil. Or, geez, don't give me all that now. Can you see this, guys? Am I sharing this? Yeah. Uh, or, I can get the 50 mil for 57 pounds. 
That's quite a tempting offer. What do you reckon, guys? Shall I go for this one, or do you want me to try something else? What about these moose, uh, these rogue ones, these rogue ones? Uh, I want to check out the the rogue perfume. The community wants you out. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, so let me just have a look. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, Martial, you know I'm here. Is Dan is shopping? <laughs> Lol. I'm shopping, guys. I am here because we are going shopping together, and we need to. Basically, the uh, the vibe is. Number one, I bought a cheapy, uh, the Gainsborough, Gainsborough G-Man had to be done. Okay. Then I bought an, a designer fragrance. I wouldn't listen to the help that people tried to give me. And I simply bought Chanel Paul Monsieur EDP because I don't have it and I want it. And I know it's a safe bet. I know I'm going to want it. Sometimes you've got to play the percentages. It could be that it's not the most exciting new fragrance I've ever bought. And the others could have been more exciting, but... Sometimes you got to play the odds. You got to play safe. Okay, so we've got a great option here. Great option for sure, and that is the uh, whoops sheep moose. Okay, let's try and just put that full screen one more time. I'm tempted to get this thing. Uh, it does sound good, although maybe is it a bit earth? Someone someone said weird in a weird way. I'm not sure that makes me want to buy it. Weird in a weird way is not really what I want, uh, but maybe it's a real classic. JJ says it's his favorite ever. Great to see you in the house there, Martial's blends. Roger Danger. Yeah, or oligarch. I've heard good things about danger. Danger. Um, I was with I was with Dan in person when he bought the sombrero. He he was there when I culturally appropriated a whole country in the presence of a young man. What a horrible thing to do. Shameful. I feel shamed, ashamed of myself uh, for influencing this this young man. Um, here we go. Voulez vous I don't know what went on. But you are missed. I hope you can come back one day. They they love you in the community. I'm sure she'll be back. Hopefully, uh, she, and I hope. I'll tell you what, I'd love to get Voulez Vu on our channel. Are you going to review this one, Dan? I am intrigued. So Ashley Biss. Well, if, if I get it, I'll obviously feature. Uh, if, if now, to be honest, you do a single fragrance video. Nobody wants to watch it, but I will definitely feature it in a list or something if I get it. Okay, guys, here's some other options. Then let's have a look at Rogue Perfumery. Now, I think the best place to get these guys quickly in the UK is Lux Parfum what is run by Chris from Fragmental. And I know that they are a very legit site. And I know the other guy involved too. So I know I'm in a good hands there. Good hands. So let's go to Lux Parfum. Highly recommended, guys, for your fragrances in... Uh... Uh, it's done a different window. I see what it's done there. So let's just go and open that up. Yeah, and we're going to have a look. If we can get this one, it will come pretty quickly. Uh there's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going right, to, let's, let's do better than that. I'm not going to go there. Uh, and we're going to have a look at the uh, Rogue Perfumery, guys. Here we go. Great, great. So Browse Manuel Cross Fragrance Collection. I, well, that's exactly what I've planned to do. Here we go, guys. These have a great, listen, I've got, uh, I've got Sheep Siam. Fantastic Sheep. I mean, one of the best fragrances in my collection. Full stop, guys. Sheep Siam by Rogue. Amazing. Mousse Illuminae, likewise. In Incredibles, Incredibles fragrance, uh, wonderful, a bit like vintage polo green, but with an, its own unique twist, 80s powerhouse vibes too, amaze balls, and I've got Bon Monsieur, which is a classic fougere, a little bit like Gucci Nobile, these guys have never let me down, that's why I'm leaning towards them a bit, although I like the sound of uh, the sheep, the moosey sheep, uh, did appeal too, so let's have a look, let's see, I've got a funny feeling we might end up getting a roguey baby uh, fragrance tonight. Let's have a look. Let's do, do the old screen share. That's not quite the effect I was looking for. More like that. Okay, guys, let me know what you think about that. 105 people, decent turnout tonight. Incredible bubbles. It's incredible. Uh, fantastic fragrance. Uh, Le Jardin Retrouvre with Queer de Russi. Absolutely. Um, Russian leather. Uh, okay, I might try that one in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So let's see what they've got from the old rogues here. Okay, so we've got the three I've already got. Fantastic, but irrelevant as I already own them. Now, now then, Oud Ancien. Don't fancy an Oud one right now. No, thank you. Okay, Fougere Lorb gets not a lot of talk. Really good. I've tried that before. It has shades of green Irish tweed, but magic of its own. So that would be interesting. Dervish, I've heard, is fantastic too. And I tried it briefly age ago. Tobacco, likewise. Uh, I'll have a look at that one in a second, Mr. Clean there. Ro Jasmine Antique. Probably great, but doesn't leap out the, the one I want to try now. Uh, Dervish 2, the sequel. That's confusing. Uh, Rostract Rostracto. Interesting. And Vetifleur. 
doesn't the name doesn't make me want to buy it that much. But let's have a look if there's more. Oh, you can get the flora and f uh, I don't know what that is. That's like a sample set or something. Okay, so it's going to have to be one of these. Okay, let's have a look at Tabakvert. We do hear a lot of talk about this one. Mr. Clean has urged me to purchase Tabakvert. Let me know what you guys think of that. We've got a super chat coming in here. And thank you very much. It's a, an absolute star of the community. Here we go. Vule Vu with a very uh, generous $9.99 super chat. Thank you so much, Vule Vu, a very elegant lady. And we're privileged to have her in our chat here. 80s powerhouse fragrances. You can't have enough. I agree with you about that. I'm with you all the way on that one. I never get bored of them. Uh, and sometimes I think, oh, I should vary up. I need to get more oud. I need to get this. I just buy things I know I'm going to like. Uh, and if it means they're a bit samey, so what? You know, um, thank you so much for the generous super chat. Yep. Uh, what's up at Martial's Blends Hair? I loved when you said, I don't hate, I love less. He had a much better attitude than me. Yeah, a very um, magnanimous attitude. What do the 80s smell like? Yeah, indeed, Vule Vu. Uh, so many different things. Well, for the men, it was kind of a lot of oak moss. It was a lot of leathery notes. It was animalic musks and civets and castoriums that had a little a hint of the bathroom funk about them. Uh, so they were green, they were mossy, they had a little bit of funkiness about them and a little bit of gnarly underlying uh, sexiness, but in a very rugged masculine way. For the ladies, they were probably very floral, very powdery, very Joan Collins with shoulder pads kind of vibes. They were in your face, they were strong, they were floral, they were sweet. They were unashamedly feminine, and there was a real divide between men and women type smells back then. But everything was louder than everything else, you know. Uh, it was not about subtlety, and they tended to be very strong. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this one. Tabakvert, then. Let me know what you think about this, guys. I'm not going to go too long tonight. Um, Tabakvert, £87.99. 50 mil. They've stopped doing the 30 mil. That's not very helpful. But yeah, okay, for a 50 mil niche, that's not horrific. A vintage, here we go. He says, rich, dried, cheap, woody, a vintage inspired fragrance for the perfect gentleman. Well, it's not me then, is it? But, I, I, you know, we could always pretend. Tabakva evokes fragmented images of the old world, wood paneled parlors, soft leather chairs, and fine cigars. Notes include tobacco, cedar, pepper, bergamot, amber, and sandalwood. Mr. Clean, I'm tempted. Tell me why this one's so good. Um, tell me why it's so good. Please, please, please. Bring Al Manzano on to explain it lately, yeah, properly. Yeah. We don't have that kind of time. Yeah. <laughs> if I had three hours left in the show, I'd bring him on. But uh, thank you. Dynasty, that's it. What a show that was. Dynasty, yes. What was it? Blake Carrington? Great characters in that. Dynasty was a great show. Here we go. Abe Wolf, $10 Super Chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that uh, fantastic uh, and very generous Super Chat. Um, and here we go. Mr. Smelly, this is very kind. Love ya, love, love ya, love your shows. I have MDCI uh, Invasion Barbar, me too, for about two years now. Wore it only about twice. Your opinion on this pricey fragrance itself and how often would you wear it? Well, you've got to wear them as often as you want if you like them. First thing I say is don't save anything for best. So if you like it and you've got quite a lot of fragrances, just wear it as often as you possibly can or you want to. I think it's fantastic. It works in any situation. It's classy. It's smart. It's spick and span. It's a beautiful fragrance, sir. Unless you actually haven't worn it because you didn't like it that much. That's a different story. Uh, but I would wear it as often as you possibly. Don't say fragrances for best. There's no point. You know, every day can be your best if you've got a couple of decent fragrances. There's no point in saving. 80s, yeah, great. Appreciate the previous super chat there from Vulevi. Okay, it's time to buy something, guys. We can't mess around. Yeah, I'm tempted by Dervish too. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Mr. Clean. Uh TV, Dervish, Original, and Fouge Lob are best. TV for you. Oh, I think I might have to go with Mr. Clean's tip there. I do like Fouge Lob, but it did have a bit of a green Irish tweed vibe, which is maybe a bit like I've already got that. It comes on hard with the masculine tobacco and dries down to something very clean and respectable. Okay, I'm on the edge now. I'm, I'm edging towards the money shot going for... The tobacco vert from the Rugs. Uh, what do you reckon, guys? Let's have a quick look at the other one I really do fancy the sound of, which is the uh, the Fougere Law. And I have tried these, but it was about three or four years ago, so it's a bit vague. But Fougere Law did it. The Der Vich, I also reckon I would like. Here we go. Fresh green Fougere. Are you seeing this? Yeah, you've got it on the screen. This is also a lovely fragrance. So fresh 
green fougere bright golden dewdrops sparkle upon lush green ferns fougere lorb is cool and fresh like the brisk air surrounding the glow of the morning sun notes include lavender green citrus galbanum geranium hay moroccan rose my favorite type of rose amber camphor sandalwood or oak moss musk and costas i used to know a guy called costas anyway that's another story um i'll tell you what this one doesn't cost us a lot because it's only 87 dollars 99 and for a 50 mil that's reasonable. That's a reasonable price. Okay, guys, how are you feeling? Well, let's take a look at Dervish. I'm gonna. I, th I think because the moss is just making it that, that that sheep remousse that sounded great from JJ. I'm a little bit. Mm, you don't know if I'll love it or not. These I kind of know I like them, so I might be. Uh, I might go safe. Let's just do one more check then. Let's have a look at the fantastic other option that we had there, which was the uh, Der Dervish. Okay, same price, and so you're looking at 50 mil is 87 pound 99. You can spend 180 pound for the extra size 75 mil, but with me with a ridiculous collection, few things get used. So I tend, I'm not, I'm okay with 50 mil. Okay, this is sweet and or you know I quite fancy this for a change though, guys. Sweet and oriental, ambery, floral, and resinous. The mystery of the summer night sky over an exotic land. That sounds good. Bright green bergamot. I know that's not how you say it. Bergamot immediately fades into a dark, heavy amber base, spiked with indolic antique jasmine. Oh, I really like jasmine. This is tempting. Notes include bergamot, labdanum, vanilla, antique jasmine. Antique jasmine? Don't even... I don't even... Help me. What does that mean? Okay, I just got to blow my nose. Um, well, I'll take their word for it. Olibanum resin, sandalwood, musk, tobacco, leaf, leather, saffron, and civet. Ooh, I kind of fancy that one. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think I might want Dervish. You know what? I don't know. I might want Dervish. Uh, okay, guys, we're going to have to make a decision here. I'm going to buy one of these three. Can anyone help me? Uh, FL, yes, yes. FL is great, but close enough to Green Irish Tweed that you may, you probably don't need it. Yeah, you're probably... You're, I su fully support Dervish. You know what? I might get Dervish because it's a little bit different to what I normally wear, but I do like... Like, Sheep I am isn't totally my normal thing, but I love it. I might go for the Dervish or the Dervish or whatever you call it. Okay. Uh, it's gorgeous. Guys, are we thumbs upping the Dervish? Guys, help me. I think it might be time to go to uh, Dervish. I want you to talk about Vetiver Note. Maybe one day I will. Uh, Penhaligon Sartorial. Can't wait to get that. Yeah, great one. I've got that. You can't go wrong with that. Classic barbershop, uh, but posh. Thank you. Um, yes, they are all fantastic. Go for it, says Blake, uh, with a $4 generous $4.99 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, consider the sample pack one day. Thank you so much. It's a go, Dan. Okay, thank you so much. I've got all my windows open to buy these three things, so I promise you I'm buying them right now, and you'll see them in my next episode after they arrive. So, you, you know, if you any doubt that I'm doing it, no point buying them on screen because it takes a couple of minutes. So let's go there and buy that bad boy right now. So we are just to see so you can get something close to a money shot, guys. Uh, buy three, get one free. Oh, shit, is it? Oh, Christ. No, that's too much of an enabling idea. No, I don't need three. Okay, let me just go the smaller size, 50 mil, Add to cart, £87.99. That's actually pretty good for a, a fragrance of that uniqueness and quality, and I know it's great. Check out. I'm going to check out, guys. Uh, but at that point, I will uh, – yeah, I haven't got an I, – I think I have got an account, but obviously I won't enter those details here. Okay, guys, so we'll stop – so let's go through well, – let's summarize what's happened there on another exciting evening of uh, fun-filled cup tie action here on the Mr. Smith Show channel. Um, so we went shopping today, and we went for, the, the theme was that we went for three fragrances, okay? I need some new things for my channel. I know I was telling you guys, don't spend too much money on fragrances. I know, I take your point. You've got a point. Davish, thumbs up. Margie gives me a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, Danny Anktil, it's a go, Dan. The community backs me. Thank you. I have Davish. It's excellent. Thank No one is saying a bad word, Sandy. Up. Uh, Pritchard, thank you so much. Devish sounds interesting, thank you so much. Okay, Devish sounds good. It does sound good. Good call, Dan. I think I've picked a good one here. And it's, you know, no one else is talking about this fragrance, so it'll be a good one to put in the channel. Thank you, Anoush Patel. That's a very, very generous $13.99 super sticker. I really appreciate your generous support there. That means a lot to me. If you want to buy your fragrances over in Canada or in the United States, where they also ship to promptly, I believe, I can't recommend enough 
that you should go to Enchant Enchante Perfumes. And he runs this site. He is a great guy who, with many years uh, experience in the industry, hard handed down through the family their uh, involvement in the fragrance industry. So go there, get your stuff. He knows his stuff. Okay, guys, the link's down there. Screw Dervish. Okay. Just, what, what happened? I thought you liked it. Um, okay. So here we go. Uh, Dan purchasing perfumes and have 100 people and uh, supporting. <laughs> That's true. I only usually get I usually only get one watching my missus, and she is usually not happy. Yes, indeed. All right, guys. So we bought that. We've got we've got Dervish from. Uh, let's just have a quick summary of what we bought. Okay, let's let's summarize what we bought tonight quickly, and uh, we'll go to Fragrantica to do that. So number one, we bought we bought Gainsborough G Man. Let me know if you thought that was a good choice by me. Uh, I think it was uh, a solid cheapy from what I hear, but let's find out if the community agrees. And we'll go to Fragmantica. Here we go, Fragmantica, and we'll see what they say about this one there. So this is a 1971 release. That's my kind of year. And uh, just shutting down a few unnecessary windows there. And uh, let's have a look at this uh, the info for you guys. So here's the summary. So we bought three fragrances, okay? One niche. One designer, a one cheapie. Okay, so first of all, somebody suggested them, and thank you to the gentleman who suggested it. G Man by Gainsborough. Okay, let's see if that hits the G spot. Look at that bottle design, very cool. And no, you can't see it, so that doesn't help you. Let's um, let's let's fix that. Sorry, guys, I present the screen. Try and do a better job of presenting this uh, third-rate content here to you guys in the community. Hundred people watching, hit the thumbs up, guys. Gainsborough G Man. It's an eau de cologne. And uh, it looks pretty sort of uh, manly. 1971 release. I bought it for about £30 delivered, £25 online price. G-Man by Gainsborough is an aromatic, spicy fragrance for men. It was launched in 1978. Your top notes are aldehydes, neroli, lavender, lemon, and bergamot. And your middle notes are geranium, angelica, olibanum, and base notes of moss, musk, vetiver, and leather. So classic. Classic 70s style uh, note listing there. Seems to get some good reviews from people overall. Let's have a look at what they say. Um, compared a little bit to Polo Green, Ralph Lauren, which I'm, I'm a fan of that one, I've got to be frank. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll find a quick uh, short review there. Pro Nose. Um, that's a bit of a claim. Pro Nose, I like the name. A true blast from the past. The scent is so unique and really belongs to the 70s. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a very sexy and leathery scent. G-Man is for secret agents. I can imagine James Bond wearing this. That'll do for me, guys. Okay, so that one's in the post. That one's going to come to me. Thank you so much for the super chat, guys. And we've got Aaron V with a generous super sticker. $3 super chick. Super sticker. The dollar dazzler is coming in. Thank you so much to the generous Aram V. Really, really appreciate um, that generous super chat. Great part of the uh, community there. And um, here we go. Kid Kentucky approves. G-Man is great. It can be everything. That sounds good to me. Okay, next one that I got was in. And now, this may not be an exciting choice. We had some more exciting people were suggesting Pasha, uh, Cartier Pasha, the Parfum. Nearly did it, but I didn't. Bellamy Vetiver, also, you know, but I didn't know if I would like it. I know I've tried this one and, and nearly bought it so many times. So, this is Chanel Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum. And I'm going to look for this on Fragrantica just so I can tell you what I've bought. Okay, so this is a sort of flanker, of course, to the 1955 original release for men from Chanel, which is an eau de toilette, which is great. Doesn't last that long. People complain about the uh, longevity of that one. Understandably, I bought it today. Okay, now this uh, Paul Monsieur, the eau de parfum officially was released in 2016. Kind of a long story. There was another one called Concentre, but anyway, whatever. Yeah, this is what you get now if you don't want the eau de toilette. You want something richer. It's a woody sheep for fragrance for men, and it was uh, yeah launched in 2016. Uh, I don't know if that means Jack Polge was still doing the perfumery. Anyway, we 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 don't need to know that right now. No, note listing very simple: lemon, vanilla, nutmeg, uh, lavender, and vetiver. So uh, I've tried it. I know I like it. It's got similarities to the original Pour Monsieur, uh, but it's got its own rich character too. I'll just read a quicker review. And here we go. Mo Chaudry. I've heard of him. I think, uh, where do I know that name from? Maybe he's in the chat. Just had to come back and say autumn is the perfect season for Pour Monsieur. Well, that's good because I'm buying it at the beginning of November. Winter, uh, you get the lemon and lavender. Summer, vanilla and nutmeg. Autumn, you get it all. You get your money's worth in autumn with all the notes playing their part. Someone else there, Ar Am Arbe Kami, says, this is classy men's perfume. Opens up spicy and a little animalic. Dries down to really classy, fresh and spicy. Lavender and vetiver fragrances. Challenging, 
but worth trying. I think I've done what I've done all right there, guys. Okay, we've got one more that we bought them. Um, the other one that we bought there is this one. We have purchased Dervish. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Dervish or Dervish, depending how you prefer. Okay, this is by Rogue Perfumery. So we had one designer, one cheapie, and one niche. And for this one, we went with a fantastic option from Rogue Perfumery. I think he's a, is he Canadian or American? I think he's an American based perfumer, North America anyway. His name's Manuel Cross, the perfumer, a former chef who turned his uh, mixing, blending skills, his skill for blending ingredients in a tasty dish into making a delectable uh, fragrance. And uh, he certainly knocked out some bangers. I've got several from the brand that I already know and love. So that helps. And therefore, uh, and I've even tried this. I can't really remember the smell, but I just remember thinking it was damn good a few years ago. So it's a bit more um, exotic, let's say, than the others that I bought, which I think is a healthy thing because you don't always want to buy old school manly things. And this one is a sweet oriental ambery floral and resinous scent. I bought a 50 ml bottle for about 87 pounds. The mystery of a summer night over sky over an exotic land. Uh, yes, indeed. Bright green bergamot immediately fades into a dark, heavy amber base spiked with indolic antique jasmine. I like jasmine. Uh, the notes apparently include bergamot, labdanum, vanilla, antique jasmine. No idea what that means. Olibanum resin, uh, sandalwood musk, tab tobacco leaf leather, saffron and syrup. Sounds beautiful, doesn't it? So that's on its way to me. What a lucky man I am. Those three fragrances. I'm just going to do the checking out now. And um, we love all you guys. So uh, great to see so many people. We had over 100 most of the time. Not bad for just me sitting here waffling on, is it? So you guys have been an amazing audience. An hour 35 minutes has been a win, win, win. Thank you for everybody who super chatted me. And uh, I tell you what, if I was to send you anywhere now, I'm going to send you to somebody who has had a very bad week. And that is my friend, Archie Luxury. This is where you need to go now. He makes our watch live streams look like child's play. He's got 234 people in the room. This is where I would go right now if I was you, okay? Go and watch Archie Luxury, who is currently dealing with the loss of his watch collection. Do to a despicable robbery. I'm going to put the link down here. Go there, go there, go there now. Go and say hello. Mr. Smelly sent me. We support you, Archie. We are angry with what's happened. I didn't like what they did, stealing all his watches. The link is there. Go to Archie Luxury. Say you came from the Mr. Smelly show. Show your support to the community. I'm angry with what they did to him. For the people who stole his watches, people who make nasty comments about Mr. Smelly online, is my message to each and every one of you. My anger to you knows no bounds. You're a fucking piece of shit and I can't fucking stand you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You morally bankrupt fucking turd. Bear that in mind. A great night's work here, and I really enjoyed talking to you all there. No guests tonight because I just wanted to go solo. Thank you for being with me, and it's Monday night. World in crisis. Well, the world was in crisis that was solved by the power of retail therapy. Go and watch Archie now and say that the fragrance community sent you, and send him a super chat. He needs to rebuild his Rolex collection. Remember, guys, it's Monday night, and that means on the Mr. Smelly channel, the world is still always in crisis. <laughs>